What's going on? Welcome back to another review. So we're looking at Tesla and I'm going to talk about why Tesla is such a good trade. Not, not just because the setup, but why it's such a good trade and why it had so momentum to the downside. So obviously recently Tesla had a huge run. If you look at the daily chart, we had a huge run once we had this kind of breakout above 190. We made a huge run all the way up to the 270s. Started making lower highs, lower highs, and then we had the earnings report. So Tesla came out with a pretty bad earnings report that really was the start of bringing the market down uh, today. But this left a huge trading opportunity. So something you have to look at, not just earnings, but What's so important about it is Tesla is a household name. Everybody knows about it. It's been heavily traded, heavily shorted throughout the years. And you have so many eyes on it. And that's what you need to make a good trade. You need a lot of eyes. So you have a huge amount of volume today. So yesterday we did around 112, 114 million in volume and then today we did 170 million in volume so quite a lot more volume but you have a lot of eyes on this because people are are looking at earnings and then earnings was a disaster for tesla which made it drop after hours after reported earnings so this is a great catalyst to trade tesla the day after the earnings because there's so many people are going to be looking at this stock to trade it because everybody knows about it and all the hedge funds all the short sellers you have this huge crowd of people that are going to jump in and try to find trade opportunities so now that you know you have pretty much the wind to your back because so many people are looking at the same stock you have that momentum to push the stock in your favor another thing is you need to be able to do as uh, a trader, a swing trader, day trader, it doesn't matter. You need to be able to trade on both sides of the market, whether the market's up or down. Because if you're just bullish all the time, you don't have nearly as many opportunities. And a lot of time when a stock falls, it, stop, it falls a lot faster and further than it does to the upside. So you can actually potentially make a lot more money trading to the downside, buying puts, um, than you can call. So it's, it's best to know how to trade both. Um, I can trade both. I'm not as good at trading to the downside as something I'm working on. Besides that, let's jump over to Tesla on the five minute chart. So we have the huge gap down, obviously pre-market from earnings. We kind of were trading in this level right here, pre-market and it held up. So this is a level I would look to buy puts on. The minute that level, that support level broke down there's really no floor to tesla today on the daily chart and this would have been my entry you have huge volume seven million in volume on the first opening candle and i would have bought probably this break bought puts up once it broke below this area and we're going to hold that below the 90 ma and even if you miss this entry point, you have a second chance right here. This little bit of consolidation. This is when you get consolidation, you're, you're kind of getting people that are like agreeing on the price set, setting in, and then you'll get that second leg down. You have that second leg down on Tesla, and then we kind of tried to bounce. And once we made that higher high, and then started to hold above the nine EMA, we would be out of this trade. You can see here the volume started to go down quite a bit considering the amount of volume from this morning drop. And if you got in on this break, you would have gotten in around the 224 area, and it probably would have been out on the 217s. So even if you just had one put option, you would have made out pretty well on this trade. Super simple trade, you have a catalyst, you have a setup, you have a support break, you have a lot of volume, everything in your favor this would have been what's considered an easy trade and easy trades are what we want to look for don't make it more complicated than it has to be and you know you can definitely trade around earnings i don't hold earnings 
uh, options before earnings reports because you can have a stock that reports good earnings and fall, bad earnings and go up. You can report good earnings and then have a bad conference call or about outlook, a bad outlook for future sales and revenue. It's really a gamble holding options into earnings. Also, if you look at Tesla before it reported earnings the day of, the options premium was 100% higher. So at the money calls were $1,100, $1,200 when typically they're five six hundred dollars so you're paying this huge premium and if you're wrong not only are you wrong but once the earnings reports all that volatility drops and that's going to make your option drop significantly so sometimes you have earnings and it might go up in your favor but if it doesn't go up ten dollars you know or you know a huge pop in the in the morning all that volatility loss is going to kill your option so really, you have a lot of battles you have to deal with if you're trying to guess and basically gamble on earnings. So it's best to wait to earnings reports, and then you can find great trades like this. Hopefully, guys, it helps you guys out. I'm going to keep trying to make more videos on these easy trades. And if you don't mind, drop a like on the video, maybe subscribe to my channel, and uh, comment below anything you would like to learn in the stock market or about options trading or technical analysis.